The drink that I'd like to show you now is a vodka martini, a very, very popular drink. Now, originally, the martini was made with gin. However, in 1950, Smirnoff started uh, distributing vodka in the United States, and since that time, vodka has taken the lead. And whenever we make a drink up or straight up, we're going to use a stem cocktail glass. And before we start preparing our drink, what we're going to do is we're going to chill our glass. And the reason why we want to chill our glass is once we pour our drink in this glass, because it has a stem on, there's no ice that goes in it, and it's never going to get any colder. So we want the glass nice and cold to keep the drink cold while you're drinking it. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the uh, glass with ice and then we're going to proceed to prepare our drink straight up, our vodka martini. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a uh, glass mixing cup. And we're going to put ice in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a dash of dry vermouth. This is what a bottle of dry vermouth looks like. This happens to be uh, produced by Gallo, which is an American wine company out in California. There are very, uh, various brands of dry vermouth. Some come from Europe. And what it is, it's a dry white wine that's been infused with various herbs and uh, it gives it a unique flavor and actually they boost up the alcoholic content. Normally uh, vermouth is an acquired taste. We're going to use a little dash, right like so. And then what we're going to use is we're going to use uh, some of our uh, Smirnoff's vodka, uh, very good vodka. And we're going to use two ounces of our Smirnoff's vodka. You can use any vodka. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, bar spoon. This is what a bar spoon looks like. If you don't have a bar spoon, you can use a, a long spoon. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it upside down and we're going to swirl all of our ingredients, our vodka and our vermouth in there, and we're going to chill on our drink quite a bit just like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dump our ice, and then we're going to uh, strain our drink, and here we have our strainer right there. We don't want any ice in this drink. So here we go. We're just putting it right in like so, and I've got a giant martini glass, so it doesn't quite fill it up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a lemon twist. Uh, normally, uh, somebody will uh, ask for a lemon twist if they like it. And when you twist a lemon, you're going to twist it over the drink like so, because right here on the yellow part of the skin, there's oil in there. And when we squeeze this, the oil floats on top of the drink. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the outside of the skin, the yellow part, and we're just going to rim our glass right like so, and then just drop it in right like so. So this would be a vodka martini up with a lemon twist. Now, many times uh, martinis will come with olives, vodka martinis will come with olives, but I wanted to show you how to do a lemon twist. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.